Here's another graph question, and remember, graphs are gifts. Let's have a little look at it. It says, in an investigation, scientists measured the rate of oxygen release by the leaf discs in light. The scientists then measured the rate of oxygen uptake by the leaf discs in the dark. Okay, so what do we know already? Will we know that in the dark, oxygen uptake will, will happen because of respiration and we know that respiration is also happening in the day but because you've got photosynthesis there's a net increase in oxygen. Okay so uh, the graph shows the effect of temperature on oxygen production in the light and oxygen production in the light added to oxygen uptake in the dark. Okay, so let's have a look. A classic example, loads of marks, straight away, they're in the bag. Why? Because it's asking us to describe the graph. It's asking us to describe, as we increase this, what impact does it have on that? And remember, we're just out to recognize several stages of the shape of the curve. So this question is only worth two marks. So looking at this graph, I can see, first of all, make sure oxygen production in the light, oxygen production in the light. I'm looking at this curve here, the one underneath. And because it's worth two marks, there are basically two stages. It increases to here, and then it decreases. Here's my first stage, there's my second stage. Because I am asked to describe the graph that's in front of me, I need to show that I know that, and I put numbers in. I use data from the graph. So what I'm going to say is that as temperature increased to 40 degrees, the rate of oxygen production increased. After 40 degrees, the rate of oxygen production decreased. Boom, easy. We've just described the graph. No need to explain it. Same question. Now they're asking us to explain it. And it says explain the effect of temperature on oxygen production in the light when temperature is increased. We know from biology and from chemistry that the more energy you give particles, the more collisions and the higher the rate of reaction. In chemistry, the more you increase the temperature, the greater the rate of reaction. However, in biology, we have an end point and it's usually at about 40 degrees, depending on the organism. And that is because at that point, that's when our enzymes denature. So that explains the decrease in the rate of oxygen production because the enzymes involved in photosynthesis are denatured. So remember, you need to know the difference between describe and explain. Describe, you're just saying a graph goes up, it levels out, it comes back down. Explain, you're talking about the reasons for that.